I just want to say how grateful I am for Mac. He, uh, <laughs> he's not built for this type of work, like going miles. You know, he's a Mustang and stuff, but. This horse seemed to know we were doing this. Ever since we were getting ready, he's really, he's put more effort into his, his rides and like I used to never get him to really trot in the round pen and I was helping him build his muscle up in his back before he left and he would trot and trot without much encouragement so I kind of think he knew. <laughs> And he's, he's out here leading the string, and yesterday, last two days, he's packed. And he's kind of enjoyed that, because he gets to be in the back and he can do whatever he wants. But I'm really grateful for this horse. That little piece of tape, you buy it to fix tents and sleeping bags, and it actually is plugging a really good hole in the That is some good stuff. Water. That gets a good review. All right, so this is another one of my favorite products, are these REI tents. Um, they're not cheap, but they're not super expensive, and they're pretty lightweight, for, especially for horsebacking. But you guys saw the rain we were in a couple days ago like downpour for an hour, over an hour. And that's happened three or four times now and we have not gotten wet. And we've got, I learned to stake it out <laughs> and just open half the door because they do get condensation, any tent does. But it's nothing that I'm like waking up in a puddle of water ever. In the mornings we just pull off the, rain, the fly and it's all screen on the inside. And if my sleeping bags get a little wet from touching the edge, they dry really quick from the screen. And this part dries like in 10 minutes in the sun too, so. I guess it's product review time. We've been out here over 50 days, so. This sleeping bag, it's a hike and bike, zero degree, 800 fill power. I think it's the warmest sleeping bag they make. And, uh, it's been a great bag. It dries fast if it gets a little wet. It's really easy to pack up. It only weighs two and a half pounds. Might be a little heavy for a backpacker, but for horse camping, really nice. And then I don't like the slick material, so I bought this liner, which adds warmth, but it's, it's like a polyester t-shirt material. So to me, it's like having a sheet, like sheets inside here, and that's really comfy. Oh my god, a Thermarest air mattress. This actually has some foam in it and you blow it up. Shane's got one of these Big Agnes ones. And it's a big one. He loves it. And then he has this big old hunting sleeping bag. Which... It weighs 20 to 25 pounds if you think about it. That's 12 times more than my sleeping bag weighs. And uh... If it gets wet, this thing stays wet. It's all cotton. Even the stuck material, it just stays soggy. Um, I wouldn't recommend it for backcountry for long trips, maybe one. But it takes up a whole pa top pack and it weighs, you know, adds 25 pounds to a load. So, so I just want to say too, <laughs> Shane and Clara and I do not always get along. Um, you know, there's... We are a mixed family. Clara's my daughter, Shane's stepdaughter. We all have different last names. Um, <laughs> and for the most part, we get along and respect each other, but there are days, well, poor Shane with two women. And he can be really vague about directions and things. Like, he has the map, but he doesn't really explain to us what the goal for the day is or where we're stopping. Today he really did, and we ended up in this really beautiful campsite. Um, but we sorted it out. Sometimes it takes all morning, like it did this morning. I just want to say the result of our argument today resulted in, uh, I just requested 30 minutes every evening for everybody, all of us. We each get 30 minutes of private time to ourselves, 
to go do what we want to do. Uh, we have books to read. Clara takes pictures with her camera. I like to clean myself up. Um, maybe tomorrow I'll bring my book down to the river and read a little bit too. So. And another thing I've noticed for me and a little bit for Clara is just stuff that's caused trauma in the past. Um, just emotional things that I haven't resolved have come up and caused issues and I uh, just because I'm out in the wilderness there's really I guess my mind has nothing better to do than bring up past trauma and I think we, we all have trauma but um, I'm hoping I can work through it and sort it out on this trip because it's a really good place to do that. I was kind of hoping that some of that would happen. Um, it's not the funnest thing, but, you know, you get out in the wilderness for 50 days, you only have to go out for three weeks, and you'll start sorting through your past traumas. <laughs> and that's that's good for you. So um, I hope we get past that. We're within, we're going to reach our 1,000 mile mark tomorrow uh, on... Uh, I think that'll be 53. We'll hit our thousand mile mark. A thousand miles of continuous riding means that we can be part of the long riders. And that has been a goal my entire life. Um, anyway, that's coming up next. And uh, it'll be quite a moment. So <laughs> stay tuned.